Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. Grandparents and others with eligible dependents shouldn't miss out on 2021 child tax credit. Oh, so my dear old grandma's gonna miss out now, huh? I see what you're doing with your sneaky language games this time, IRS. Everyone knows you get three misses before you're out. But now, with the sneaky term, miss out, you imply we only get one miss instead of three. Only one miss, even for my dear old grandmother, who you crooked umpires declare miss outed. Honestly, could you imagine baseball games where the batter gets only one miss and they're out? One whiff and the umpire is like, miss out. Yeah, that, that's not how it goes. It's three misses and you're out. Three misses and you're out. I mean, honestly, if you cut it down to only one, the pitcher stats would go through the roof. This is, this is ridiculous. I'm on to your crafty word games this time, IRS. Why don't you just leave my grandma alone and go pass some kind of inflation reduction bill while simultaneously farting into an ever-expanding balloon or something? Whatever. First a joke. Honestly, you know things are bad when the President of the United States is bending the knee to TikTok influencers for support. Duck, sir. Are you all right, sir? Of course I'm all right. Why? What have you heard? I mean, the President of the United States interviewed in a serious manner a man who transitioned into a girl. A, a girl, mind you. Like, n not a grown man who transitioned into a grown woman. A grown man who transitioned into a little girl. I look out there at all of you wonderful guys and I say to myself, what I wouldn't give to be 20 years younger and a woman. The word woman feels very strong and confident and powerful and that still intimidates me a little bit. So I'm gonna keep calling myself a girl. Hope that's okay. Love ya. Apparently primarily doing so to sell a whole lot of makeup. Well, and this base is shot to hell. Just look out there. Quiet. No, hardly a man moving. Roy. Roy. Huh? I even went to school with that man. He's just not the same. Been ignoring me all day. Using the highly prestigious platform of TikTok. Uh, many of you are wondering what's wrong with my pants. Well, they started running short of material right before they got to the knees, so they don't give me any shit. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like. Many grown women have unsuccessfully tried to transition back into girls. Or at least turn back the clock a bit. I couldn't win a medal either. Even at bending, the thing I was built to do. I'm so embarrassed. I wish everybody else was dead. Although grown women can't transition back into girls, this grown man, he totally can. Man, honestly. Like, this guy could do whatever he wants. It's a free country. But... The President of the United States interviewing this guy like he has any more profound objective other than just getting a platform at the White House so he can use it to sell more makeup is silly. I want to thank you for having us over to dinner the other night. Cheryl and I thought the stroke up was marvelous. But sir, we didn't have dinner the other night. Really? Where the hell was I? And who's this Cheryl? Ah, doesn't matter. I mean, this, this is our President? This isn't, this isn't good. This is the guy who, on our behalf, is dealing with terrorist nations around the world, guarding the nuclear codes. I'll tell, I'll tell. The combination is one. One, one, two, two, three, 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 four, 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 five, five, five. five. I mean, honestly, this guy will believe anything at this point. The stupidest combination I ever heard in my life. That's the kind of thing an idiot would have on his luggage. The president has good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. Someone's home is on fire. Terrorist nations around the world have transitioned their uranium enrichment programs from ambitions for nuclear weapons to clean energy production designed to stop global warming. It's great. They've turned over a new leaf completely. The United States is now happily funding their totally new and wholesome operations. Sorry, sir. Doing my best. Who made that man a gunner? 
Yeah, this is this isn't good. I don't think this is good. COVID tax tip 2022-165, October 27, 2022. Grandparents, foster parents, or people caring for siblings or other relatives should check their eligibility to receive the 2021 child tax credit. Quick recap on the child tax credit. It is a credit. Therefore, it will typically be lowering the tax liability. However, part or all of it for 2021 is refundable and that means that even if your tax liability goes below zero you don't owe any more taxes you might still get a benefit from the child tax credit meaning money back basically a refund even though it's not actually a refund in that case because it's more like a benefit program at that point in time typically the people that qualify for the child tax credit or people that have qualifying children which are often the children their children but not always because they're going to be dependents on their tax return so you can get into more details on the age limitations and what's a qualifying child and so on but the idea here would be that normally it's fairly straightforward situation if you're talking about a parent with a qualifying child however it gets a get, bit more confusing when you have more complex family structures where you have like a grandparent taking care of the child or in a divorce situation uh who's going to be claiming the child and so on and so forth you would think that if it were a qualifying child, they would be somebody's dependent and somebody should be getting you know, a benefit for the child tax credit for taking care of the child. However, you can't have two people that are claiming the same child on the tax return. That's usually the problem in a divorce. Usually you have a situation where both individuals are trying to claim the child and now you've got two people claiming the child, but you can also have a situation where neither party or, or whoever is taking care of the child doesn't realize that they can claim them as a qualifying child and, and a dependent. And that might be like someone else, like another family member is taking care of them or a grandparent type of situation. So if no one, no one is claiming a qualifying child as a qualifying child, then you would think somebody, whoever's taking care of them should be able to do that, make sure they're, you know, getting the benefit to help with that process. So people who claim at least one child as their dependent, there's a link to that here, may not realize they could be eligible for benefits from the child tax credit. There's a link to that here. Eligible taxpayers who received advanced child tax credit payments last year should file a 2021 tax return to receive the second half of the credit. So the other thing that's confusing about the, the credit for 2021 is that they changed it drastically. So you, you the credit was always there before, and so people are quite aware of the credit if you have qualifying child you know, for the most part but uh, they increased the credit a lot for 2021 and they tried to give part of it out in advances which if everything went well I, I, I guess that can go fairly smoothly but obviously you can imagine situations where things change from one year to the other and it causes kind of some complexity so even if you got the advances though it, they're only giving half of it out in the advances so you would still benefit from filing the 2021 tax return even if you've got the advanced child tax credit payments because you should get more of the child tax credit payments uh, when you file the taxes if you didn't get in any advances that's because the irs didn't know about the situation because it wasn't on the prior year tax returns and if you qualify for the child tax credit you would think that you would get the full amount of the child tax credit so eligible taxpayers uh, who did not receive advanced child tax credit payments last year can claim the full credit by filing a 2021 tax return. People should review the eligible eligibility rules to make sure they still qualify for the credit. The interactive tax assistant, there's a link to that here. It's kind of a, it's kind of a projection tool. It's getting better and better. It's a good tool. Uh, can help people who aren't sure. Taxpayers who haven't qualified in the past uh, should also check because they may now be able to claim the credit. The only way to receive the credit is to file the 2021 tax return. So what is the child tax credit expansion? The child tax credit expansion increased the amount of money families can receive per child and expanded who can receive the payment. The credit increased from $2,000 to $3,600 per child for children under the age of six from 2,000 to 3,000 for children over the age of six and raised the age limit from 16 to 17 years old. So those are some of the age restrictions, which are one of the big kind of factors, of course, when determining whether they are a qualifying child. The child tax credit expansion uh, applies to tax year 2021 only. So they made this giant 
you know, kind of adjustment because of, you know, the situation for 2021. They were able to do that, but they only did it for uh, that year because it's supposed to be temporary and whatnot. So who qualifies for the child tax credit? Taxpayers can claim the credit for each qualifying child who has a social security number that is valid for employ employment. There's a link to that here in the United States and issued the Social Security Administration before the due date of their tax return. This includes the filing extension if the taxpayer requested the extension by the tax return's original due date. To be a qualifying child, the 2021 tax year, the child must fit certain criteria. So there's links to that criteria here. Uh, what are the eligibility factors? Individuals qualifying for the full amount of the 2021 child tax credit for qualifying children if they meet all eligibility factors. There's a link to that here. And their annual income is not more than, so these are the phase out limitations, 150,000 if they're married and filing a joint return or if they're filing as a qualified widow or widower, 112,500 if they're filing as head of household, 75,000 if they're single filer or are married and filing separate return. Parents and guardians with higher incomes may be eligible to claim a partial credit. IRS free file available until November 17th to help more people receive credits. So note we're past the extension deadline. So, so, but you still, if you haven't filed your 2021 tax return, you may still want to file it. Oftentimes people run into restrictions because they can't get access to, to the resources to file past the, the due date because, because the free file software, for example, usually isn't there past the extension date. But somehow the IRS has twisted these, <laughs> these uh, software providers arms even harder their arms about to fall off, I think. It's like it's like in an unnatural position twisted around their back right now. But they're going to offer the software up through November 17th. So if you know anyone that hasn't filed yet, they probably want to take advantage of the software opportunity or else you got to pay for the software. So the IRS free file program, there's a link to that here, offers eligible taxpayers brand name tax preparation software to use at no cost. It's free for most individual filers who earn $73,000 or less in 2021. To help more people claim a variety of tax credits and benefits, free file will remain open for an extra month this year until November 17th, 2022. They did it for my birthday. That's like right where my birthday is. So I've requested it as a, as a gift to everyone here. Just kidding. They, they don't care about me at all. But here we go. Taxpayers who earned the $73,000 uh, in 2021 and are comfortable preparing their own taxes can use free file fillable forms. There's a link to that here. This electronic version of paper IRS tax forms is also used to file tax returns online. More information below at the link. There's 2021 child tax credit and advanced child tax credit payments frequently asked questions. There's a link to that. There's a link to the free file fillable forms. There's links to the qualifications for the child tax. There's, there's stuff all over this place and there'll be a link to this in the description.